Before you start talking about Kevin Porter, there are two things you should know about how he presents himself in the basketball world. That is, the reasons he's seen in a certain way. For example, this NBA prospect asked to wear the number 4 jersey for a painful reason. His father was killed when he was exactly that number of years old. A child, barely more than a baby. The second thing is that, by wearing his father's name, he wants you to remember that he is Junior, something he also adds to his jersey and his signature but not to differentiate himself, but to show pride in being the son of the man who gave him the legacy of his passion for the sport. That's why, despite certain behavioral problems, Kevin Porter defends his jersey with pride so that he doesn't let his father down wherever he's looking, and so that the fans shout his name loudly and keep him alive. Kevin was always coveted because his talent was known since the days before college. The West Coast was pining for him, and it was Andy Einfeld's Southern California that took him. Kevin Porter Jr., who went from being a four-star prospect to a five-star, finished his senior year of high school being named the best player in Washington State, ranking among the top 30 players of the generation and one of the best in his position. Going back to his early years in high school, Kevin Porter Jr. was little more than a good perimeter scorer, but over the years, he has completed his game in a variety of ways. The most obvious change is his work on the physical and athletic side, which allows him to get more out of his opponents. His scoring versatility and his athletic conditions were undoubtedly the keys that allowed him to fit in from day one in the dynamic game that the team led by Andy Einfeld was used to play. Looking ahead to the 2018-19 season, the Trojans have been able to count on the likes of Jordan McLaughlin, DeAnthony Melton, Elijah, Chimeze Metu, all of whom were key players in Einfeld's plans last season, so the game had to focus more on the native Seattle shooting guard. Porter Jr. had a great opportunity to not only establish himself as a player with a good NBA potential, but also as more than just a good scorer for an offensive guidance system. His potential was there, and he had a solid foundation to work on. But Porter averaged 9.5 points, 4.0, 1.4 assists, and 21 appearances, 4 openings, during a mostly disappointing first-year campaign for the Trojans. The 19-year-old Seattle native lost six weeks of action from early December to mid-January due to a thigh injury. He returned for a game before being out for the next two contests due to a suspension for behavioral problem. His absences were a key reason why his exaggerated arrival at college basketball did not meet expectations. He committed to USC as a five-star prospect and the 28th overall player in the 2018 draft class, according to 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. In 2017, the Rainier Beach High School, Washington, standout, said he was still playing at less than 100%, and the persistent nature of his injury forced him to miss practice time. When I was out, I had to push everything else so a lot of my body breaks down at this point. It just wreaked havoc on my explosiveness and athleticism. I can't jump as fast or as high as I used to at this point. I just have to adapt, be more cunning, and be a game maker," he told reporters. Between his injury and inconsistent production when he is on the ground, it is difficult to fairly evaluate his season with the Trojans. Porter remained a raw talent, but said after declaring for the draft he was confident his skill set would stand up to anyone in the 2019 class. Ever since I was a kid, the rankings never mattered to me. I just played. I don't know who's in the draft, but as far as qualifying among people, I feel I have confidence in my ability to compete with anyone and everyone," the player told the press. And that's how the opportunity came with the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs hoped Porter would eventually become a major two-way weapon after some training. Finally, the USC-trained young scorer has gone from strength to strength in a very complicated campaign for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is a key part of the team's promising youngsters. Kevin Porter Jr. became one of the few positive news in the Cleveland Cavaliers' season. He started out with less weight in the rotation, but the weeks passed and his quality prevailed. The six-foot-tall shooting guard slash forward stands out for his ease in scoring. Already in, he left evident samples and only his physical limitations and certain attitude problems made him fall until the last pick of the first round. After being chosen by Milwaukee Bucks, he arrived in Ohio. During the first 33 games, he saw his number of minutes vary, as well as the number of shots. He averaged 8.6 points, 3.2, and 2 assists with 29% and 3 pointers in 21.9 minutes during this initial stretch, in which the feelings were improvable both from the team of Porter Jr. and from the player taking advantage of his few opportunities. After missing 11 games due to physical problems, the player returned to the squad with the change of bench. 
John Bellin left and made way for the interim J.B. Bickerstaff, who has been reaffirmed as the project's head coach. Kevin's improvement was evident, going on to play more minutes and have more ball. He averaged 13.9 points, 3.2 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 1.1 steals in 27.3 minutes, with 38.8% in three-pointers, 73% in free throws, and 44.9% in field shots. He achieved his best performance with 30 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals in an important victory against Miami one of Cleveland's best games of the year. Despite having less significance than the other great rookie of the team, Darius Garland, Porter Jr.'s season leaves a better taste in the mouth. He is an energetic, talented, and competitive outfielder. The highlight is that within the chaos he has been in the Cavs of 2019-2020, Porter Jr. has managed to progress and establish himself as an important piece in the presence of the team. He has already played the role of the six-man scorer, and the truth is that it fits perfectly with his game and the collective project. Garland and Colin Sexton are the starting pair, Seti Osman is the defensive foreman and marksman, and KPJ appears from the bench to score points and revolutionize the landscape. The next step for the 20-year-old is to increase his offensive flow without suffering efficiency, something that could consolidate him as one of the top five second-team outside scorers next season. Although he is not a passing-oriented player, he can find release teammates when he is overtaken. He shouldn't just become a scorer with tunnel vision, he needs to know how to involve others no matter how much his specialty is scoring. At the defensive level, there are few complaints with him. He has a good hand for stealing, is aggressive, and tries hard, although sometimes the lack of size hurts him against larger veteran forwards. The main pairs in this season have been forwards like Kevin Knox, Marcus Morris, or Duncan Robinson, and their defensive records are powerful powerful, leaving most of them under 45% of success. Something wonderful that KPJ offers is versatility. Although most of his minutes have been placed as a forward according to basketball reference, that is the position of another rookie, Dylan Windler, who has been down for injuries all year. Next season, they should have Osman and Windler as forwards, even for the open four, while Porter Jr. is good for everything, both accompanying in a role without the ball as to be the protagonist near the action. And what do you think of Kevin Porter? Do you think he's honoring his father's memory as he intended, or that his behavior problems don't help much with this task? Do you think the results he shows and the numbers can be improved? Tell us what you think in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. We post from Monday through Friday, so make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified, and don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe down below. Check out some of these videos.